Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be just be doing another video and yeah, I'll be teaching you how to do more effects. So recently, unfortunately, I haven't been pulling that many views and 95% of you guys are not subs, so you know, it really helped me out and yeah, help me have the motivation to grind if you could sub, it really supports the channel. Well, for ado, let's just jump straight into the video and I'll just show you guys what to do. Alright, so let's make sure you have your clip set up like this. Just have your build up area, your, just a prior to build up, and then you have your impact. And what I usually like to do is just make sure that uh, it aligns with the audio. So at this part of the song, it kind of like builds up, so I like to just make sure that it's building up, and yeah. Uh, so, first of all, let's just go and let's search for magic bullet looks. Alright, let's drag it on, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe this the strength to 0 at the beginning, and then when you go to the end, keyframe that to 100. Alright, this way, it slowly gets stronger. Now we want to click on edit look, and it should bring up a pop-up, just like this. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to go to Color Vista, if you have the newer version like I do. So what you want to do is take analyze the colors that you have on the screen. So I notice we have a lot of red and we have a decent amount of green visible as well. So what we're going to do is to, gonna just drag the rest of the colors inwards. So uh, first let's drag in the blue and then let's drag in the cyan. You can see it already has a pretty big effect. The shotgun color is already gone. And let's drag out the purple. As you can see, it, it kind of removes even more of the color. Dragon orange as well. I don't think that affects it too much. Let's keep it nice, uh, slightly weaker, but we can keep a bit of it. And let's drag in yellow because we do, really do not need yellow. All right, and now we have green, pink, and red left. So we're just gonna drag red, red upwards to in, uh, increase the brightness, as you can kind of see on the screen right now. And we're gonna drag the uh, rest, like uh, pink as well. And as we drag these, we're just going to take a look at how it kind of changes. Let's just notice uh, how the color changes. Alright, so now we can grab at the shadow area, and as you can see, it also has a pretty big effect. You can just play around with this and see what it does. And you can also play the rest, like mid-tones as well. And finally, let's just play the highlight area, and we can drag that bit as well. Alright, so now we can, now that we have all the colors in the center, we can even change the hue if you really want to. As you can see, as we're doing right now on screen. And yeah, let's just make sure that's set to zero if you don't want to change anything. Alright, so now you have a few bars that you can drag, and just play around with this, it's really up to you. Uh, just, uh, and just keep in mind, just look at the screen while you're doing this so you can see what effect each slider is having. And now, let's go down to the bottom area. Alright, so at the bottom here we have this little like thing that you can drag up and down, it's kind of like a graph. And with this it will like tint your color, uh, your, your image with different colors. So it's really up to you how you want to play this. Alright, so now that we're done with that, there's a few things that we would want to add. We're going to go and grab a lens vignette. And first of all, we're just going to make sure the vignette is 100%. And the amount is 100%. And you want to make sure that the highlight is 100% as well. Alright, now what you want to do is grab an edge softness. And as you can see, it's a little too blurry, so let's change it up. Let's first uh, increase the radius a bit. Right, and then we can decrease the blur size. If you still want to, you can just shrink the radius back a bit to make it uh, suit your needs. Alright, so finally we're going to add a chromatic aberration, which is pretty much just RB RGB. And uh, you can play around with this. Uh, it really depends on what you want. And I think green and magenta will work the best for us. Alright, so now what you want to do 
is now as you uh, okay, let's just take a look at this there's a few things that we would want to add because it's looking pretty solid already but it's not completely done so first what you want is to just blur mode curves and drag that on all right so now what you want to do is keyframe the z, z distance rotate and shift x you want to kind of go towards the middle drag them out and then you want to go even farther and just change the z distance to 0.7 rotate to 11 shift x to around 70 ish as he edits right here we're going to drag the keyframes back to just when he's edits and when he starts looking at you mainly want to do it when you start looking at the guy. So when he starts looking at the guy in the clip, he's going to tilt pan. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to BCC Glitch. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that the glitch only happens towards the end. So we're going to keep him the glitch intensity at zero at the beginning. And then we're going to set it to uh, the default 40 after, right after towards the end. Now we want to search shake, S shake, and then we want to just drag this on. Alright, so now we want to keep from the amplitude and we want to go down a bit. So let's set that to zero at the beginning first. And then what you want to do is you want to set this to about one or you can try to change it up to how you like it. Turn down the X, you don't want any of that at all. It's none of it. Alright, go to Y. And we don't want any random shape, we just want a frequent wave shape. Alright. Alright, so we want to set the frequency to 24. You want to set the amplitude to 2, and the wave will be around 20. Alright, and that will be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. There will be a free preset in the description. I can sub if you did. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, that's what I'm all about. I ain't trust a middleman. Had to catch it all out. Yeah. I ain't a gang style. Had to let the dogs out. Strapped in, blast off. Yeah, I'm finna ball out. Yeah, we used to talk a lot. Whole thing same.